Whether up close or in the stands, Louis Diab can always be found close to his older brother, Max. Exhibit A, look over my right shoulder. In wrestling, a dominant performance can take many forms. It can come way of a pinfall, a tech fall, or even an undefeated home record. Illinois is doing the latter. Now over to the Sandlot. Major League Baseball's postseason is in full swing, and unlike the Champaign-Urbana weather, the action in the National League Championship Series is heating up. With a chance to win the game, and Illinois trailing by just one, DeSumo drove towards his right and slipped right around here. We're talking parallel to the right elbow. Moving to the American League, the Boston Red Sox and Houston Astros are engaged in an old-fashioned standoff deep in the heart of Texas. Tyler's journey is one less travel. Following his father destination to destination, the guard has played home games in five different states over nine years. Though what makes Tyler special is not what he does on the court. In wrestling, you don't have teammates. You have brothers. For Danny and Zach Branagle, this is literally the case. Yet, on the weekend of Illinois' regular season finale, attention didn't go to the rising redshirt freshman. No, eyes were instead fixated on the youngest of the Brandnagel brothers, Joe. Joe is a familiar face around the University of Illinois. The junior at Altoff Catholic High School can be found sitting front row at Fighting Illini duels, cheering on his brothers. In the biggest match of Joe's career, Danny and Zach return the favor. We've always been super close to each other, uh, and everything we've done is together, so it's our turn to support them. In the Brandnagel household, Danny and Zach shared a room. Joe was not too far away, only a couple steps in fact. From the beginning, the brotherly bond between the Brandnagels was strong. So strong, Joe knows exactly who his biggest backers are to this day. My brothers are my biggest supporters no matter what. When in doubt, I could be in Canada right now wrestling and they'd still cheer me on. The state championships were not the only time Danny and Zach could watch Joe. From video chatting their mother during matches to a special trip to the Vandalia sectional. The twins were always keeping up with Joe's bouts. And there's only one way to do so properly. Sitting front row and shouting loudly. Whenever Joe does wrestle, we get the closest seats possible and we are loud. Because, you know, momentum's a huge thing and you know, we just try to get that on, our, on his side and we just like to have a little fun with it, you know? Just gotta be rowdy. Joe gave all his brothers, Jared included, something to be rowdy about, becoming the third brand angle to claim an individual IHSA state championship by raising his hands and posing for pictures from his brothers. An undefeated week in Champagne was immortalized. I'm the young brother and I had a lot to look up to. And now, I'm like them, I guess. We all want it. Danny and Zach are taking the Big Ten by storm. Joe may be next. The 182 pound champion says he has been in talks with multiple colleges and a state title will certainly do even more to bolster his resume. From State Farm Center, I'm Peyton Wessner, Illini Sports Night. It's awesome watching Ben and all these kids that are underclassmen placing at state. It was something that I wasn't able to do. I can tell that I can use that as a way to ramp their confidence up through the roof. Oh, nice. Do that again. Turkey or snail. If I can describe Cody, someone who's never met him, I mean, Cody's one of a kind. It's like, you got to see him in his element to know who he really is, too. Like, Cody. He's got the best of both worlds. He knows how to channel his energy here and how to be a good dude out of wrestling. I'd say, I'd say Cody's a lover, and then down here he's a fighter. <laughs> oh, oh, I love how he's so cute, and then he could just go out there and kill everyone. Oh, Kai's looking good on top right now. You gotta love the passion from Pax. Boom. How are you feeling? 
Good. How are you? Good. You ready? Yeah. Right. I still got like five hours. He really is a gentle giant, right? On the mat, he's not. He's he's him. He's in, he's in his mode and he's out there. Uh, you know, every way that he lives, he's generous. He cares about others, and uh, that really differentiates Cody from you know, he's not your stereotypical wrestler. We got one more dual meet, then we could get fat, then we could reflect on how to get better. All right, yeah. good season. Senior day. It's a chance to honor the student athletes and managers who have dedicated their college years to the Fighting Illini. For Brad Underwood, this year meant a little more than in the past, thanks to the recognition of his only son, Tyler. Even before Brad became head coach at the University of Illinois, Tyler was close by. The 23-year-old has enjoyed a first row seat watching his father move from JUCO head coach in Daytona Beach to someone on the cusp of five NCAA tournament appearances in seven seasons. As Brad experiences the final days coaching his son, he speaks only of Tyler with great praise. The challenges overcome, the experiences shared, and the accomplishments achieved are not unnoticed. I'm so proud of him, and and yet, you know, I knew I, I knew I provide some some cha I provided some challenges, but man, he's handled it like a like a champion. Tyler's journey is one less travel. Following his father destination to destination, the guard has played home games in five different states over nine years. Though what makes Tyler special is not what he does on the court. Brad often mentions how a program is built like a house. Well, Tyler literally manned the Underwood home while growing up. His father was often gone for road games and recruiting trips, which made Tyler next man up as family protector. In this way, his defensive tenacity is indicative of how the graduate student approaches life. Whether in the classroom, where Tyler has a bachelor's degree and is pursuing a master's, or in the locker room, where he shares advice constantly with underclassmen, he continues to charge forward. Uh, I think it's part of the journey I've learned, like whatever life throws at you, you just kind of have to try to make the best of it. Um, and luckily enough, I was able to do that here. Don't let anyone fool you though. Tyler can score with the best of them. Just ask fellow senior Kipper Nichols. Tyler get a lot of buckets every day on these guys. Um, he's a very smart basketball player, uh, very cerebral. And, um, you know, he, he's able to share, share some wisdom on, you know, everybody, just about everybody in here. The Fighting Illini's remaining games are numbered. As often the case, many seniors are asked about whether they would have done anything different in college. Tyler does not even have to think about his answer. I honestly wouldn't change it for anything. Uh, I think it's helped me grow as a person, uh, helped me grow as a player. I've learned so many things along the way. Uh, I've kind of looked at the whole thing as a journey. Brad says he never wanted his son to play basketball because of his playing and coaching career. Still, a ball and rim brought the two together for bus rides, long flights, and March Madness appearances. And that is something the 56-year-old will always treasure. You know, I say it every day, you're truly blessed when you can go to the court and see your son every day and dap him up and say hello and, and uh, uh, kid around and have fun and enjoy the moments in locker rooms and enjoy the tears in locker rooms. And Tyler is unsure what the future will hold. His passion for basketball may pull him into the coaching realm. But at this point, his only priority is enjoying a long tournament run with his brothers, his basketball brothers. From State Farm Center, I'm Peyton Wessner, Illini Sports Night. Uh, Colton Emmerich was uh, my first state champion, and it happened to be on my birthday, February 22nd. And it just so happens it's February 22nd today. It's also my birthday, obviously. And, uh, you know, um, so there's, it's just funny how that happens. We were at tournaments growing up, me and Cody collapsed his back, so we take naps like before the finals. Sick. After the so that section, we did that. Which in the beach? Julian. <laughs> There's my dog over there, Hopkins Hall, home sweet home. Where? It's like, it's through there. You can kind of see it on an angle. Oh. This is my home. Oh, man.